What is up, everybody? My name is Spaz, and welcome to Arrow Key Gaming TV. Today, I'm kicking off a new series. This series isn't going to necessarily be related to video games, although at times I will probably tie them in to the conversation. But it's going to be more of a video blog, and each week I am going to feature a pet peeve of mine in hopes that you will comment and list your pet peeves so that we can find common ground and I can rant about those things too and hopefully through all of this we can spread awareness and hopefully find a cure for all these pet peeves. So to start it off I'm going to give you my biggest pet peeve in life and that is actually you know what before I tell you what my pet peeve is I have decided that I have found an adequate punishment for people that do this and uh, basically what's gonna happen is we need to find somebody to round up all these individuals line them up, make them put their chins out just a little bit, <laughs> and, and then I'm going to drive by on a fucking Segway, and I'm going to slap all these people in the face with a yard of beef. Um, I might even do like a nice little circle on my Segway, multiple circles actually, kind of like an intimidation factor, and I'm going to come back, and I'm going to backhand them again the other way. Um, and if you don't know what a yard of beef is, I've, I've referenced this before in conversation. People are like, what the hell is a yard of beef? It's that, uh, you know, like that Hickory Farm stuff you get during the holiday seasons. Uh, it usually comes with like cheese and crackers in a basket, but it's like this yard of freaking beef. Um, but I do think that that's an adequate punishment for the people that do this. And what they're doing is leaving their shopping carts laying around in the middle of a parking lot as if pushing them another 20 feet into a cart corral is such a big inconvenience that they just bypass that. Um, I think there should be signs every time you go and get a shopping cart at a store that says, you know, these are your responsibilities as a shopping cart user. Uh, you don't leave them in the middle of an aisle. You move them out of the way. Don't walk down the middle of an aisle ridiculously slow. Uh, don't let your kids hang off of it like it's a jungle gym screaming that they want more Captain Crunch. Uh, and then the final step would be you need to return your shopping cart or else Spaz is going to drive by in a Segway and slap you in the face with a yard of beef. Um, and, and you try to analyze the logic, right, of people that do this. Um, I mean, it must be such a drag for them to push a shopping cart around that after like a 10-minute shopping sh session, they're just finally over it and they're like, you know... I have to get home because I forgot to set my DVR to record this reality TV show. So, I, I, you know what? Somebody else pick up this shopping cart. Um, and I hope somebody out there that watches this does this uh, because I would like for them to comment as to why they do it uh, so that the rest of us, the normal people who view the world or our community or our neighborhood as a shared environment outside of our homes, like a, you know, a store is a shared environment. I would like to know your rationale for making a, you know, things inconvenient for the rest of us. So uh, that's, that's my biggest pet peeve in a nutshell. Uh, I want to hear from you guys what your biggest pet peeves are. Hopefully, we share similar ones, and I'm not just living in a world that uh, random, erroneous things bug me. Um, and hopefully, we can find a few that uh, we can relate on and also spread awareness to the people out there. I'm talking to you, Mr. Shopping Cart Lever Person, not picker up or too lazy to move at 20 feet guy, or whatever the hell I just said. I'm talking to you. You need to knock that shit off. Um, before I seriously take it upon myself to roam the streets in a Segway or roam parking lots in a Segway with a yard of beef and backhand you with it. Um, but yeah, anyways, please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe and post some comments and some feedback and some of your pet peeves. And each week we will feature multiple pet peeves and get this all solved once and for all so that we can finally live in a world where things make a little bit more sense. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed that. We will catch you guys next week. Talk to you later.